Okay, so we're here once again. Panarim TV Nation. Hope each and every one watching this video having a wonderful day. So we have this coming up in the topics. Recently we see Vibes Cartel lawyer put it out that one thing in proud of the time Vibes Cartel been in prison. In proud of the fact that Vibes Cartel turned to Christ, you know, and we see a lot of fans reacting. Now we see Vibes Cartel fiance put this out, you know, and it seems as if this confirm all of that. A lot of people are wondering if Vibes Cartel baptized. Now we see right here Queenie gets Dewey's tattoo name on her. You know, she tattooed Dewey name on her hand. Also, Auntie Donna share her views on the rear intercourse activities between men and women you know we can't say certain things over here due to the guideline but them type of things that we see miss dana i talk about publicly right here auntie dana publicly stated during a live stream that she will not engage in no form of bottom you know type of make out a clip of her live stream has been garnering attention online for what some find to be humorous content in the video entrepreneur Danago has seated yes people in a discussion the taboo activity with her caller a clip features Dana stating nobody not going into my my you know our rear part yes so the female caller respond by telling her that she will not know if she like it until she tries it but dana insists that she will never engage in it additionally the caller tells dana don't ever say never because i said the same thing you know so during their conversation viewers on the live stream were commenting with amusing and negative responses dana took a moment to address the negative comments urging viewers to respect people preference well that you know totally is a no-no them former activity there you know is a no-no and uh, some people always come with excuse that woman different from man <laughs> yes so once as you go there so you know that is a total wrong move you know nothing no man fear bring them things to the woman so you no need for repent and you know change up on a life from those type of activities we miss dana entertain over there okay so we see right here j progress public figure put out something after seeing what cargo said about vibes cartel so it's like j progress are looking to it and i say enough dance all artists don't want vibes cartel to come back a road when him look into it because them might feel threat you know that vibes cartel are gonna take them spot in dance all a lot of things so check out this video and let me know what y'all think me people all of the gaza fans them and all who are not gaza fans the general public a celebrate for vibes cartel come a road and one vibes cartel to come a road because them feel like he didn't get a fair trial and whether or not he commit the crime or not he never get him fair trial so yeah what let him out time do almost 10 11 years already but guess what and jay progress i'm telling you something now who do not realize say dance hall artists them now have vibes cartel come a road how much dance hall artists who no ear a ball free vibes cartel free up one of the legendary dance hall artists who no take from dance hall so long them no one cartel come a road. You know idiot? Big dance hall artists, them don't want vice cartel to get release. You know you cargo, cargo the first one to talk it out brawling. Don't make your cargo no mind. Cargo want dance hall artists. When did boss? When nah boss back again. In dance hall career, don't no matter where he come with. He could have seen nah sell out my friend them 100 times. Walk a mile 100,000 times. Cargo can boss back again. He get a little gateway boss and him F it up. See there? Cargo are ungrateful boy. See him beat up the woman they will take him to America and mind him all along. Now nah, walk around nothing as him getting green card, win court case, make, set up himself a job he can beat the woman nearly kill her. Anyway, make could jump in like Cargo are the first one. But a lot of dance hall artists want vibes cartel if he dead at prison. You don't believe me no man? J Progress never come to come tell you no lie before. Eh? Them want cartel dead in prison. Them no want cartel come back out. Because when cartel come a road, 
The lazy dance hall artist may feel like they can drop one song a year, two song a year on a runny street. Them are going to get wiped off of the map. All of the little nursery rhymes, them and the man that we out of the place with two little nursery rhymes. When cartel come out of the game, them little nursery rhymes last. All of the man that was stuck in the goose and the chopping and the ray 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 When cartel come a road, them have to go find new topic and find new song Any time vice cartel touch road, dance all get disrupted The artist them have to go work too hard Too much artists have to get jump off of the map Too much artists we at now now go at again Them have to confuse them have to work their brain too hard my people You know you hear J progress now man? Believe me when me tell you no the dance hall fraternity don't want Vibes Cartel come a road. You think a lie me a tell? Ask Vibes Cartel because he know to. Believe. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about right here. We see Vibes Cartel, attorney at law, Isaac Buchanan already put it out that Vibes Cartel turned to God. You know, it's like, probably my prayer more, my look into him life more. And yeah, that is a great thing because after all what, he went through Vibes Cartel never for the year right now. Probably by the grace of God. So, we see Vibes Cartel, his fiance, you know, amidst the whole controversy with Vibes Cartel defending her, you know, after what people are saying over social media, bash her because they want Vibes Cartel to be with Shati, you know, they want Shati to be the wife. So, we see she put this out right here saying, Adija Asim Palmer. You are a God-fearing man who also comes from a God-fearing family. But you are always painted in a negative picture. Who God bless, no man curse. I see God's favor in you in many ways. The heart you have that I love so much is one of them. The strength and faith you have that moves mountains and makes the impossible possible. The spirit of David in you that is able to bring down Goliath many times over. Yes, yeah, so we see she share that and Vibes Cartel repost it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna get into right here, we see Queenie. And now the people, them are gonna beat Queenie bad over social media again. So following their reunion, social media personality, entertainer, Queenie. Yes, people and her husband Dewey appear to be stronger than ever with Queenie getting a tattoo of Dewey's name. Yes, people on her hand. So I know we are going to see people that say, oh, she a yamed, this and that and, you know, after what they saw Dewey go on with. Yeah, people all over the place with different women a couple months ago. So following, you know, Queenie, despite earlier expressing that she wanted a divorce, the couple reunited in February and have been inseparable since. As they continue to enjoy marital bliss, Queenie has showcased just show how she committed, you know, she is to her husband adding his name to her other tattoos. Yes, so as you can see right here, Queenie get new Dewey name and Dewey reportedly already has a tattoo of her name in addition to her wedding ring. <laughs> the one man to me goody artist Queenie left hand will now feature Dewey's name and her three hearts. Yes, so you know we see Queenie and Dewey all over the place, you know, back together again and the fans them are react after seeing all of that. So people wanna think about this, you know, as much as them go on and you know, go at it over social media. We always see them makeup and thing. Yeah, man. So, you know, that to that. Bless upon yourself, people. Guidance, protection. Until next time, I'm out.